<laughs> Donovan! Uh, she shouts as she enters the tent. Donovan cannot hear you what as he activates his ability. <laughs> In what language? In uh, common. Aldean. She doesn't, like, scream at him in Elven or something. <laughs> Although that would be interesting. I'm disappointed. Oh, um, but yeah, as Haya comes in screaming, Donovan's just going to act- oh, let his ability finish activating. Well, what the fuck is she supposed to do now? Uh. I'm gonna do a little bit of mood setting unless Ego tells me to do otherwise. So, Donovan sits in the middle of a whole bunch of candles that are entirely aesthetic and does nothing for the actual magic of this. No, 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 this is fine. Yeah. A uh, faint blue. I have a question before we go any further. Yeah. What does Haya think would happen if she breaks the circle? There was no circle. Oh. It's just randomly placed um, candles, and that's about it. And Haya yeah, probably can tell that they do There, that There is a half-elf with a longbow who has basically uh, fully drawn and uh, pointed at the back of his neck. Yeah. Yep. There's a wyvern. Because you know he's he's not actually stupidly strong and can't hold a long bow at full draw for an infinite amount of time. Uh, there was a uh, ghost that's slightly hovering over Donovan, ready to plunge his head hand into him. Uh, also another wire run with a lance. A faint blue mist rolls in. Is your associate like a cavalier or something? Okay. Yeah. What Haya says Blind is, Cavalier. Sakel, break his concentration. Can you use a lance? Not mounted? Yep. Yep. Is that a racial so thing? Uh, yep. Ego, do you think Sakel would have enough time to lift Donovan up and throw him on the ground bodily? I'm going to look at the ability and see if it actually breaks it, because she would probably know the answer to it. Mm. Yeah, it she is a racial be. thing. It's no. one of the Sakel, racial archetypes for... Sakel cracks his knuckles and walks over to Donovan. And he'll pick him up, lift him over his head, and then throw him onto the ground. I would know. You can damage him as much as you want, but it does not stop this. Death <laughs> will. Uh, death also kills the spirit, but yeah, it does technically stop it. So you're Knocking saying that there's, there's actually no way to stop this? Um, unless you knock him out. Unless I'm missing something. Can it not be stopped by making you unconscious? No. I... It has to... You can wait it out ten minutes. Or you can kill me. Right. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at it now. Okay. Because I'm so looking over it, and that's the only a... stuff I'm seeing. He is a. Uh, uh, you a also know. Because I just read this. Yes. He can try to eject it, but that doesn't always work as easily as just having it in peacefully. Yeah, he is indeed a storm lot. Is that book so what, in the just, thing or? Just, just so I'm clear, so you, what you're saying is at the point at which she enters the tent and confronts you, 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 you can, you've basically triggered the process, yeah? Yeah, because I kind of figured they were kind of walking into it to do it whenever Sokel got the idea, hey... It's probably up to something. Is that fair? 
Okay. Yeah, so I guess... So I'll answer the first question first, and then I'll answer the is it fair question. Uh... Also, if you really want to kill a decent level spirit, I can just summon it into my body and I'm a lot easier to kill. That's an interesting <laughs> suicide plan. It is, but I can't summon everything too high level, but it's a thing I can do. <laughs> yes, with your death wish. As I said, he has a death wish. It's not well, a death I mean, wish, it's an undead wish. There's named Tarpafon. Uh, maybe we should... <laughs> okay. So... Okay. So I've answered, the, I've answered the first question, but I'll play that out. In, order, in, in terms of the second question... Um, I think we'll randomise it because the ritual takes 10 minutes. I think your point is fair, Klaus, but I think we'll randomise it. Oh, okay. So, um, so I will... Uh... Uh, right, Klaus, pick odds or evens, dude. Um... I'm filling evens. Evens it is. Okay. Uh, which basically means he would... Uh, he had enough time. Point. Cal arrived. Um, so Cal lifts him up and throws him back down to the ground. Um, and... Uh, let me just... Okay. Yes, it's best to beat up a spirit. It's totally gonna work out. Right there, I'm just, um... Yeah, that is. I thought we had another one a bit back. Um, There's a perception and a sense motive. Can any of... Uh, wait there, Klaus. Can any of three. the characters present in this tent speak goblinoid? <laughs> yeah, that's a very good question. <laughs> He's laughing like the Joker. <laughs> yeah. What does language is standard mean? <laughs> language is that standard means... of the ones you have. It means that um, you know your racial language, the common of the continent you're on, which is Taldane, or common, pretty much. And then some other ones based on your intelligence. Except Ego took them away. Yeah, I took them away. And replace them with a linguistic skill. Yeah, so what is your linguistics bonus? And how many ones do you have in it? Points. Yep. Into linguistics? I don't think I have any points in linguistics in this character. Okay. Then that's it. Yep. Then that's your it. racial and your common. That's racial and common. Draconic and common. Fair enough. Nobody? Um, I don't think Favorite Enemy gives me that language so much. starts talking like a madman. They're probably going to kill him because they don't understand. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, I, I haven't had anyone say yay. So, uh, so Kel, uh, Donovan um, goes thump on the floor and then uh, kind of squats 
almost kind of um, ape-like uh, and growls at you and goes, So Kel just goes, Sis, I don't think it worked. <laughs> Should we is he uh, speaking or is he attacking? He's just uh, speaking. He's, um, <laughs> jabbing a pointy finger whilst crouching and looking up at Sakel. Looking quite angry. Kaya just goes, Ugh, fine, get back over here. And Sakel just kind of like holds his palms up like, I didn't mean anything, and he kind of backs away. Um, I'm going to roll a reflex save. Because uh, I had a full-drawn longbow pointed at him, like 10 centimetres away from his neck. He's <laughs> doing. <laughs> um, am I reflexing to avoid shooting, or am I reflexing, you're reflexing to, uh... to... You're reflexing to uh, avoid shooting. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad roll. Not a bad roll. Not <laughs> terrible, but um, I don't know what you're gonna want. Ten is DC. Ten is hard. Yeah. Nah, that's all right. So your your arrow. There's a there's an arrow in the floor, sticking out the floor from Alara's bow. Which um, yeah, this is a uh, a plus three longbow. <laughs> There's about yeah. 10 centimetres of an arrow sticking out. Yeah, and it's... it's the Wait, you have a plus point. three longbow. Yeah. Uh, so do I. Uh, the, um... It's magic plus three weapons composite, on the thing. not magical. Don Donovan has noticed this, and he's now jabbing his uh, finger of authority at you. Hookabucka! And he's getting closer to you, Alara. Hugga bugga bugga. I'll um, draw another arrow. Donovan? Yes. Are you armed? Uh, I have a felchard on my back. Actually, no, I would not have any weapons on me when I was doing this. No, that would be. No, even you are not that stupid. No. <laughs> okay. There are limits. My, there are limits to my stupidity. Is Donovan, how close is Donovan getting to. To uh, Alara. Um, in a sort of closing kind of way. Is it still threatening finger, or is he doing something else? Uh, it's not the threatening finger. He, you know, he's 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 moving along the ground, but closer towards Alara. And the jagging finger is back out. It's more fun. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of look, and, and I, I sort of passed a, sh a look at Alara, and like it's sort of a look that says a, a draconic look that says, "Shall I?" <laughs> Hi, he goes. Well, great. None of us speak this language. Presuming uh, it is a language. My, what's my penalty going to be to pin his foot to the ground? Oh, God. <laughs> cold shot. What's the penalty on a cold shot? Isn't it? I'll find it for you. <laughs> it just occurred to me that Lara actually has no attacks. Set up. Yeah. Mm. So I'd put um, it the same as a hand, so it's minus five. So what? So he's just closing in on Alara. I'm so tempted to unload. He's, he's, yeah. I mean, the, the, the figure's squatting down. It is unarmed, but it is perhaps understandably somewhat hostile given the fact that it's just been physically slam dunked on the ground by Sakel and had an arrow. <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, Haya, Haya um, holds her hands up for everyone to stop trying to shoot hmm? their stupid elf possessed by whatever that is. 
And then she'll start talking to it soothingly, like, don't worry. We're not going to try and kill you. Again. Uh, you're maybe. a cleric. Do clerics have comprehend? She didn't prepare oh. it. Ooh, Wait, Jim, so bad. Bad. You didn't know this was going to happen. What do you mean? You're a cleric. You have a spontaneous casting, don't you? For, for her domain spells. Right. Ooga Batuga. <laughs> Can okay. I get this thing to calm down? No, the thing, yeah, it's like so, Donovan, not Donovan, uh, is calming down. It's now kind of looking around. Ooga. Stan, he's now standing uh, up. Wizard? Anybody a universalist wizard with Stop you know that. in a book? <laughs> Anybody able to cast it? Like comprehend or Donovan did a rash that? action and no one was prepared for it. Yeah. Hmm. Um I wonder just how this is supposed to work. Ego, I'm going, going to, to attempt a will save to act normally for one round. The DC is 10 plus half its hit dice plus its charisma modifier. Okay, I'll let you know what DC is. Alright, and I'll go ahead and roll that will save. <laughs> Traditionally, Ron would like not let six. him know what the DC is. It would be just a uh, straight up uh, pass fail. But... Um, suddenly, he stops making weird groaning noises and says, Guys, I think it's a goblin spirit. Uga Pachuga, as he goes back to the goblin voice. <laughs> you do have six seconds. Oh. Yeah. I think that his confused um, silence for part of it might take up the rest yeah. of six seconds. Yeah, okay. So, what are people doing? This thing seems to kind of be looking at its... So Donovan's looking at his hands... Feeling, feeling his body, looking very puzzled. Um, languages on Alara. You can always try a linguistics check to figure out what it's saying. Yeah, because I have... Um, Haya has linguistics. All of those skills. So can she listen for a while to try and figure out what's going on? Get a gist of it. Uh, you can, yeah, I'll let you make a check to try and ascertain the rough gist. How oh, good. Mm -hmm. I rolled a ten. Yeah. Um, 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 did I have something been... along the lines of how is this possible? Yeah, so kind of what, what what's going on? How is this possible? Seems confused about what's happened to it, I assess to the others. I have a I'm question. not as confused it... as I am by what is going on. <laughs> well, Seems bonus language odd. for each our friend plus four here. Or plus five. It's for every plus five, not plus four. Yeah. You get an extra language. You get one point for you get one language for putting a single point in it, and then another one for every mm, multiple of five. The bonus, oh, bonus. Um, you get a language at every multiple of five of the total bonus you have to linguistics. Yeah. Then next rank, next time I get language rat ranks, I can put a gain language. Okay. Anyway. Um. What are people one. wearing? People got. Um. Is there any food or drink? Uh, in the tent, Donovan, is there any water skins or anything like that? Uh, um, there would be a decent Alara amount of alcohol. Have, would have a water skin. Okay, so um, Donovan 
Jonathan's face lights up upon seeing uh, a what, bottle of wine. Yep. One of my nice bottles. Uh, and um, uh, fiddles around trying to open it and then proceeds to proceeds to neck it. Oh well. At this point, it's got a club. Kill thirsty. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gonna try to. No. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to say it's um. Again, and then kind of wipes its mouth with the back of its hand. <sighs> Looks at the bottle, smiles, inanely, drinks some more. Ten minutes was this? Yep. Yep. Ten minutes of this? Yep. I'd rather just put him out of his misery. I don't think he's going to be very pleased when he comes to. <laughs> but I'm not going to be the one to try and wrest that bottle away from him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Donovan oh, comes out of it for a moment, sees the situation, takes another swig before he loses control again. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have. Okay. Mm. Um. Okay. Donovan's now finished the bottle. Rather quickly. Do you want me to do a He's fortitude funny. save? <laughs> yes, please. Yep. He's now looking a little unsteady. Oh, what's okay? Looking a little unsteady. Ah. Uh, there any food around? Um, the, I'm carrying my rations. Still on my person. He does have rations, and some mysterious meat that he probably got from Matthias. That totally is not horse meat. No, oh, well, 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 he'll he'll find that pretty swiftly and be chomping enthusiastically into that. Uh, is it raw or is it dried? That's a good question. It would probably be dried, because I don't think he would just have meat hanging out. <laughs> Random horse. <laughs> okay, so Donovan is very enthusiastically chomping into uh, a slab of dried meat. And Donovan looks very happy. So Cal comments, this is kind of fucked up. It's kind of, kind of, Donovan's kind of looking at, at you guys with your bow, but he's kind of like, you yeah, haven't shot me so far? Um, can I try to do a linguistics check to, um, it's identifiable as goblin, but I want to see if I could, like, tell which, if there's, like, a dialect of goblin it's using. You can try. It's not such a great check, but um, of the races that use um that are you know goblinoid or use goblin, um, you suspect that there there will be different dialects. Yes, um, they'll have, yeah, they'll share a common. Uh, kind of core language, and then um, build from that. Uh, Tequin and De Avalon are looking more and more confused by the second. Yeah. Hi, I, I asked the others. Any of you speak Orc? Not uh, particularly. Donovan's going to speak up in Nacril, and is hoping that there's a response. He says, uh, do you understand me? Nakril is the language of the dead. The undead, specifically. The undead, specifically, yeah. Okay. Oh, Donovan kind of looks a bit puzzled, shakes his head, goes back to eating it. Yeah. 
by me. Kaya and Sakel start talking to one another in Undercommon, specifically about which orc words are in the uh, the mishmash that is Undercommon that they can use to maybe communicate with the goblin. Uh, Levi's going to join in on that. Knows... Alara knows something of you after hearing Undercommon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, the... <laughs> Um, Drow Ghost joins in in Undercommon, discussing this. And then, uh, Haya, Haya turns to the, the goblin inhabiting her idiot friend's body. <laughs> and, um, asks a very simple sentence in Orcish. Do you understand? What she can manage. Uh, we could try Make eight other roles to aid your linguistics. Make a linguistics step, please. See how you do. Hi, I'll do primary and what? Try another linguistics check. Oh, okay. He's aiding her, so that's not an independent thing, sadly. Are you aiding her, eh? No. Okay. Yeah, it's just an aid. Okay. Yeah, so she'll get like, um, uh, 17. Okay. What did you and what did you what did you ask him? Do you understand? This? He kind of looks at you. Mm. Kind of shrugs in a. Uh, Haya takes that as a good sign, in a manner of speaking. She goes, um, she, like, talks to the other two again, like, what next? Um, he, gestures, he, he gestures sort of with his hand and then kind of gestures to the floor and makes some kind of, I don't know, kind of, kind of sort of slight jerking motions like he's trying to like, paint or draw the floor. Hmm. All right. Um, Heil motioned for Sakel to give her a bit of chalk from his dungeoneering pack. Sakel forks it over, and she puts the chalk down near the guy. Okay. Uh, T. Quentin de Havilland, the standing guard, but sort of okay. getting away and. Um. The um. So Donovan draws yes. a picture of a hand to his right and a picture of an eye to his left and then points at Hyre and Sakel and then points at the hand and nods. And then he points at the eye and nods. And then he kind of points to both. And kind of then has his palms open. Interesting. Maybe that's where he heard the language. Hand eye? Um, Haya tries to say something like, these words from this. And then she points to the symbols. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So he, he nods and points at you. Then he points at the hand and looks at you questioningly. And then he points at the eye. And looks at you questioningly. And he points to both. One, one, one to his left, one to his right. Um, <laughs> hiya. Hiya. Get out of here, Havoc. Go away. Get out of my head. Hiya, hiya, Sustia. Okay, I think he's asking where we're from now, and, um... 
she'll she'll sort of like squat down and then she'll hold her hand out to see if he'll give her the chalk. Okay. <laughs> Gives you the chalk. Yeah, she draws a line and then she draws the spiral like the one that's hanging from her neck and then uh, yeah, on the other side of the line and then she sets the chalk down and points to it and then points to herself. So, some, something else. Hmm. Hmm. Donovan's now looking oh. at you quite warily. He draws a line underneath the hand and the eye. And then he draws like, almost like, um, like a V. Hmm. But that curves at the top. He points at you and then points at that V underneath the line. And then points back at you. Hmm. Does anybody to recognize that symbol? Can have a look, but I don't think I will. Uh, what? Can you draw the symbol? My hovercraft is full of eels. <laughs> <laughs> um. Donovan. Can I, like, try a check to see if I recognize this? I'm not, like, trying to rest control of my body. I'm just looking through my eyes. I'm just thinking Alara might know it because she has favored enemy. I believe it's Goblinoids. Okay. Top. Top, um... Top left of the map, guys. I've drawn the symbol. Oh. Well. Hmm. Hayo yeah, I have favorite enemy head. goblinoids. Hayo kind of turn her head so see if it like makes sense from a different angle. That looks like a Maybe mountain upside down. Yeah. I'm glad someone said the mountain and didn't go to where my mind went. <laughs> Same place uh, mine, dude. Um, dead bastard. Levi speaks up. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maybe it's a it's underground? Um, Maybe it's... Hmm. Haya says, uh... We from below... And she points to herself. I have a thing that I have to point out. You would know right. this. There is an elf in this tent. Yeah, if she wants to shoot Haya in the back, be her guest. You are implying that you are a drow. There was plainly yeah. a drow ghost flying in front of you. <laughs> but she's also a cleric of Phrasma, which not a lot of drow are due to the whole Diabolist thing. <laughs> Devil That's be worship. Nice conversation. <laughs> Demonic worship and all that. Oh, okay, well, then we don't have so Alara, much Alara is very torn. <laughs> She I has think that's sort of the point. <laughs> reasons to give you the benefit of the doubt. Do the eternal monologue eternally. Ooga booga. Well, there you go. Welcome to playing a player character. Yeah. Weird shit is happening. Oh. <laughs> but she's still an elf. This guy summoned a goblin spirit. It starts flirting with this drow woman. Ooga booga. Oh. You would know, like, like. Honestly, T. Quinn and, and De Havilland are just really confused. <laughs> okay. Um, 
So, uh, what, 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 you're still not giving him an answer. You're not giving Donovan an answer. Yeah, um, she's trying to figure out what it means, but uh, she says that they come from below. Yeah, he's pointing downwards, Donovan. <laughs> Oh yeah, but the other thing was, do I actually recognize the symbol as a knowledgeable person about goblins? Um, not the uh, not the the line with the kind of sort of slightly curvy V, but the um, uh. That weird kind of, I guess, eye symbol. You've seen that before. Okay. Not a hand, but the eye certainly has. Yeah. Hi, it just kind of like shrugs. Just like I have no idea do what I, that is. Do I recognize a, a meaning? Or do you want to check for that? Loincloth of Vecna. <laughs> the brain of Vecna. The ever classic head of Vecna as well. Can they do another collaborative um, linguistics check to possibly get you come I have from seen below? This eye before in the mountains. Oh. They have possibly a tribal symbol of some kind. Um, Haya will point to the symbol and then. Point to the point to Donovan and his goblin spirit questioningly. He'll point to like the curly V and then point to them. Donovan will uh, Donovan will shake his head quite firmly. <coughs> he, Donovan will point to himself and point to the hand. Higher nods, and then um. She'll point to it, point to herself. She'll point to the V, point to herself, and then shake her head. And then she'll point to this, the um, the swirling comet symbol, point to herself, and then nod her head. I just want to check. Just make sure I understood that correctly. So did you... Can you ping the symbol that you suggested you had nothing to do with and the one that you did. Oh, I see. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the one she said she had nothing to do with. All right, fine. And then that's the one that you... Okay. Oh. Okay, so many so symbols. Um, Tequin moves up. And says there was... <coughs> The site of a battle on my travels here. The symbol. I saw it there. On one of the shields. Hmm. Okay, so um, I will take the chalk and she'll draw like a crude shield and then try and recreate the symbol, the V symbol on it. And then point... And then, and then she'll look to Donovan and his goblin spirit. Now, where the frack have I put this?
Primitive Linguistics Simulator 2017. <laughs> you know, it never occurred to me that I could summon something that I don't have the language for. I mean... I know it's entirely possible to do, it just never occurred to me. This but is Donovan, why you ask. Donovan points to himself, points to the hand, and then points to this drawing that he just drew. Hmm. Oh. I wonder what that is. Does that look familiar to me? Well, I mean, these these pointy things, I guess, could be mountains. You're not sure necessarily what this thing in if that's like a foreground, what that's supposed to be. Oh. I just like. I just like appreciates the drawing like she's thinking about it. Hmm. I'm a fucking clue. <laughs> Donovan points to himself. Then points to these three, and points to himself and grins. Hmm. Hi, it kind of cocks her head, like, oh, I wonder what that could be. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. guys, I will be back in a minute. I've just got okay. to say goodbye to some house guests. That's okay. Um, uh, what's in your tent, Donovan? Um, bare bones, basically, other than, like, the food and drink. Uh, let me take this up real quick. Okay. Uh, there's a blanket, some rope. Okay. And a bedroll. Okay. He will point at Alara and the arrow. And he'll point at um at uh Tiquinin and the arrow and then point back to here. So something to do with people shooting bows. So uh, Haya will like mime shooting an arrow with like her hands, like yeah. drawing the bowstring back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll nod. Hmm. And then um, she'll do it again, and then she'll point at him, and then like mime getting shot with her finger. He shakes his head, though. Oh. She'll nod and, like, go neutral again. He points at the other symbol, this symbol. Returned, I have. She nods. And he points at himself and looks sad. Hmm. Haya will point to him, mime the shooting motion, and then point to the eye symbol. And then kind of poke it like she's attacking it. Here you go. He, he basically kind of gives you the thumbs up and shakes his head. She nods. 
she nods vigorously like, ah, I get it now. Okay. And then, um, the drawing with the mountains and the thing, she'll, um, She'll draw. She'll like try and copy the eye symbol and the hand symbol, but on opposite sides. And then she'll draw arrows of them moving towards one another. And then she'll like poke it, poke the uh, poke the middle like she's attacking it. Okay. And then she'll look to him. Hmm. He, he'll, he'll say yes. Ah. She'll like give him give him one nod like ah. She looks to the others like. Well, it looks like he's from some sort of battle site near mountains. He starts to look scared. Yeah, she's, she she um, makes like a calming gesture to him. Then she says, um, she points to the, the pointy structures and says, uh, she tries to say mountains in Orcish. A mountain. Okay, he's starting to, um, Donovan's starting to bodily twitch. Oh. Almost done here, then? Oh. Right. Come on, yeah. Oh, we've been at this for a while. True. So, um, twitching is bad, so we should probably kill him now. Okay. Hi says, no, it means the spirit's about to leave, and last time this happened, it didn't go back to the River of Souls. Something took it. Took? Yes, which is why I didn't want him to do it again. The spirit returned to the River of Souls, that would be acceptable, but the last one we summoned got lost. Uh, Which is bad. Right. The one hanging around the whole time? Before. It came before. No, no. The, the permanent one. Yes, I don't know what's up with that. Most ghosts, they usually have some condition they need to fill before the material plane releases them. Okay. Um, Donovan. It's like, Donovan, you're back. Ow, I feel less sexy for some reason. You're feeling somewhat drunk. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why is my well, stomach you, so full? And because you ate an ass food. load of horse meat. Not the and you're not feeling yourself. You're feeling quite drained. Oh, oh, yeah, do you guys bad. mind if we call it that? Yeah, well, that's your own damn fault now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys mind if we call it that? Yeah. Incredibly so. Yeah. I think we should run for another 12 hours. <laughs> As much as I wish I could do that, I probably can't. I'm running drained. Farewell. Alright, surprisingly enough, sarcasm is a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm happy to continue if other people are. Uh, we're due to finish in 45 minutes, but um, it is up to you guys. I'm good to go no, for that, a bit longer if that, other people are. I'm Sorry? fine for a little longer. I'm fine for a little longer. 